Severe pain, nausea, and blood in urine. These are some of the symptoms of kidney stones when it blocks the urinary tube. Kidney stones are common. One out of ten people develop a kidney stone sometime in their life. Many times, the stones are sitting silently without causing any trouble, but when they move, grow bigger in size, cause symptoms, or develop again and again, they need to be treated appropriately. Let's ask Dr. Smart about it. Hi, I am Dr. S. from Smart Clinic. Let's talk about kidney stones today. Dr. S., how are kidney stones formed? Our kidneys are an amazing gift. They are constantly busy cleaning the blood and getting rid of waste material into the urine. We have about 5 liters of blood that is cleaned by the kidneys almost 400 times every day. The urine made by the kidneys passes through ureters into the urine bladder. When the bladder fills up, we feel the urge to pee and empty it. Our urine contains many types of chemicals and waste products. If the amount of certain chemicals increase in the urine, or the urine becomes too concentrated due to less water, these chemicals may start to stick together, and over weeks or months, they can form a kidney stone. Kidney stones can develop due to many different reasons. Some medical conditions like gout, hormone imbalance, or inflammatory bowel disease can cause kidney stones. Certain medicines can increase the amount of stone-forming chemicals in the urine. Certain bacteria and infections in the urine can also trigger stone formation. And at times, the cause of kidney stones is not clear. The risk of developing kidney stones increases with eating too much salt or too much protein, like meat or protein supplements. The risk is also higher if water intake is less. When the body is dehydrated, the urine is concentrated and there is more chance of forming a stone. Kidney stones are made of different chemicals, the most common type is calcium oxalate stones. Other types are made of uric acid, struvite, or other materials. Based on the type of stone, the treatment and diet restriction may be different. Dr. S., what are the symptoms of kidney stones, and when should someone see a doctor? Many times, stones stay in the kidney silently, without causing any problem. Other times, they can move and block the ureter, this can be very painful. Pain is often felt in the flank or side, and it may feel that pain is moving downward or coming in waves. The pain may be accompanied by nausea or vomiting. You may also notice blood in the urine, making it pink or red in color. Most stones that are smaller than half a centimeter will likely pass out by themselves. You may notice a small stone or gravel in the urine. If the stone is bigger and blocks the ureter, then over time, the back pressure may damage the kidney or cause infection. You should seek medical attention if you develop severe pain, have uncontrollable nausea or vomiting, blood in the urine, fever, or have difficulty passing urine. You should also seek medical advice if you have silent kidney stones because in some cases, over time, it may damage your kidneys. Dr. S. How are kidney stones treated? Treatment depends on the location of the stone, its size, and what problems it is causing. Your doctor will do an ultrasound or a CT scan to find the location of the stone and blockage of the tubes. Some blood and urine tests will also be needed to look for kidney damage and infection. Most small stones will pass without any procedures. Drink two to three liters of water every day to help dilute the urine. Take pain medicines as advised by your doctor to ease the pain. Doctors may also give medicines that help relax the ureter and make it easier to pass the stone, or medicines that help dissolve the stone. It may take three to five days to pass a stone. For large stones, there are different ways to break and remove them. Your doctor will advise the best possible way based on your condition and the location and size of the stone. One treatment is to use shockwave lithotripsy, which breaks the stones by shockwaves and vibrations. The broken pieces of the stone will pass out in the urine. Another method to remove stones in the ureter or kidney is by using a scope, which is a small telescope passed from the urethra and bladder into the ureters or kidneys.
Special tools are used to break the stones and remove them. A temporary stent or a tube is placed in the ureter to allow the small particles to pass out easily. For larger stones in the kidney, a small tube is inserted in the kidney through a small incision in the side. A telescope is then passed through the tube and the stone is broken and removed. A temporary stent may also be needed after this procedure. For people with recurrent kidney stones, some changes in diet can help prevent further stone formation. The most important thing is to drink a lot of water throughout the day. Try to drink at least three to four liters every day to keep your urine dilute. On hot days, you may need to drink even more. The second most important thing is to cut down on the amount of salt in your diet. Avoid salty foods like salted chips and snacks, pickles, salted nuts, canned food, and food with added salt. Eat meat in moderate amounts. Avoid having meat every day. The most common type of stone is made of calcium oxalate. You should cut down on foods that contain oxalates, such as okra, spinach, turnips, beans, beets, nuts, tea, sweet potatoes, chocolate, black pepper, and soy products. It's okay to eat them occasionally or in small amounts. Remember, eating foods that are rich in calcium does not cause problems with stones, but you should ask your doctor before taking calcium supplement pills. If you develop stones repeatedly, then you will need to consult your doctor to find the underlying cause. I hope you learned from this video. Share it with others and watch our other videos on different health topics. Stay healthy and help others stay healthy. Did you know some drinks and medicines have chemicals that make us pee more? These are called diuretics. These medicines are helpful for conditions in which there is too much fluid in the body. We should also know that drinks that have caffeine, like coffee, tea, soda, and energy drinks also make us pee more. If we are not drinking enough water, these drinks can make us dry. Let's be grateful for the gift of health.